Hi. How are you? Good. Tired. <laughs> tired. I can imagine. Yeah. So day two yeah. of future. And I'm already tired. And you're already tired, right? <laughs> yeah. Anything interesting yesterday that you can discuss from the first day? Well, it was the first time I uh, attended the Griff, the uh, restaurant uh, element of the conference. And it was, uh, it was interesting, a couple of nice presentations, uh, inno innovative um, speakers. So it was quite interesting. Um, did most of my meetings, so back to back meetings, some, some scheduled, some uh, unplanned. Um, met some potential investors. Uh, it's always nice to see investors, that's what we're here for. Um, which is always fun. Um, saw some industry colleagues to try to catch up on some industry gossip and competition news and uh, and all that. So it was all very healthy from every aspect. I'm not going to ask you about the gossip, so yes. I'll leave that for off camera. Exactly. So exactly. day two, what are the objectives for Radisson here at the summit? Um, hmm, a lot of media interviews. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, I've had a couple of very interesting owner meetings, investor meetings. Uh, which I think we'll follow, th we'll follow through on. Um, I have a couple of meetings with some um, uh, very high-profile uh, government officials as well, which is, uh, who are visiting as well, which is always very interesting. Um, they tend to facilitate uh, investment opportunities and, and partnerships uh, in other parts of the world. Um, it w it's nice to see that there's visitation from Egypt and from Saudi, uh, FHS uh, Riyadh is, is very big, uh, it's focused on Saudi Arabia, but it's nice that FHS taking place in Abu Dhabi has also attracted the likes of the TDF and the Ministry of Tourism of Saudi Arabia and uh, the PIF um, uh, leaders from Saudi Arabia. So it's nice to see that even though that it's still a regional conference and that it's still attracting um, all sorts of investors from all over the region. That's good to hear. In terms of expansion, Radisson is always busy. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about expansion plans? I know that you've done a lot in, in Saudi. I know that you're doing, you mentioned Egypt mm. as well, but what other markets are interesting for you now? Pakistan. <clears throat> Pakistan is very interesting. We signed four deals there this year in Islamabad. Um, we've signed more than 10 hotels, 11, 12 hotels this year so far. Um, mostly Saudi Arabia, Oman, Iraq. Uh, we've, we're, we've entered Erbil, we're opening our first hotel in Erbil before the end of the year. We're opening one or two hotels in Muscat before the end of the year. We're opening a hotel in uh, Amman in Jordan uh, next month. Um, we've, uh, so over the past one, over the past 12 months we've opened a thousand keys in the region. Over the next 12 months we're opening 2,000 keys in the region. So it's an ongoing story. Every time we we sign a couple of deals, I think it's okay, it's a good time to take a little break, but then it's never ending. So it's a, it's a, good, uh, it's a good thing. Um, there's always opportunities uh, in the market. Um, Saudi's keeping everybody busy, but then we're also being kept busy in other parts of the region, like Pakistan. We need to do more in Egypt, like Oman. Um, opening in small markets like Jordan and Kuwait. So it's uh, we're proud to be equally spread out and not just focus on one market, just on one market. And with this great expansion plan, what is the aim? What is the aim for Radisson the brand in terms of how many mm -hmm. hotels they want to open? Why? What's the why? The the market is uh, the market needs more hotels. So uh, when when people say the market's oversaturated, <clears throat> I disagree with that comment because. Um, uh, just a couple of years ago, um, uh, Dubai has around 150,000 keys. Saudi Arabia had just below that. And Saudi Arabia is a, is a is powerhouse of the region. It uh, makes up 20%, more than 20% of the GDP of the region. And the entire country had around 150,000 keys versus the city of Dubai, right? Saudi has now exceeded that number. So can you imagine how many Dubais you can have in Saudi Arabia, you can quadruple. So that, that number is going to go up to 600, 700,000, which is part of Vision 2030. At the same time, look at the numbers. If Dubai alone could do 150,000, Saudi could do so much more. So in terms of scale, Saudi uh, still needs those hotels. There are, there's still room, that, and then you might say, but Dubai is becoming saturated. I disagree because there are conversion opportunities in Dubai. There are many unbranded service departments in Dubai that, that, that need to be branded. <clears throat> there are 
rarely any four-star beach resorts in Dubai. 95% of beach resorts in Dubai are in the five-star tier upwards. So there's an opportunity for that. There's an opportunity for mid-scale hotels. There's an opportunity for economy and budget hotels. There's an opportunity for lifestyle hotels. There's an opportunity for branded service apartments. It's uh, new markets are opening up. With Saudi Arabia, you're talking about not only the main cities, you're talking about secondary cities. Not only the secondary cities, you're talking about the giga developments offshore. Um, and then you have s small markets like Jordan, and you have Syria opening up soon once the war ends. You've got Iraq that is stabilizing. So once these countries open up, you're going to have a never-ending development story. And that's what keeps us uh, on our toes. That's very interesting, looking for new markets everywhere. It, yeah. you, you definitely are a brand that wants to spread out into sort of untapped, if you will, and untouched, yeah. and maybe even a little markets. So as we get to the close in the last day of FHS tomorrow, what's your main objective personally? And what about this event do you enjoy the most? The objective tomorrow is to leave with uh, some solid leads to follow up on them and hopefully to make more announcements at FHS Riyadh. So we're looking, um, it's the main event in the region. Uh, it's the only event in the region that we sponsor, FHS along with Riyadh. It is, uh, we need to come out of this event with leads, with, with, with uh, strengthening our relationships, uh, seeing uh, existing owners, existing partners, um, uh, discussing with them potential leads, um, casual conversations on the side, um, seeing them again next week and the week after. This conference is about making announcements, it's about solidifying the relationships you already have, it's making new relationships, it is an excuse to get together in one room because of our busy schedule throughout. It's difficult to be in one place at the right time. This conference brings everybody uh, to one place at the, uh, at the right place at the right time. And every year, I think it's a very important thing to continue. It's a very important tradition to continue. I certainly feel like everybody is here and it is, feels like the right time and the right place. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Simone. Appreciate Thank it. You.